And welcome to day five of the Atlantic Hurricane season and the Central Pacific Hurricane season as well. Day 22 in the Eastern Pacific. Uh, currently three invest active in the Northern Hemisphere at the moment. 91L of course in the Atlantic now with a 40% chance of development as of the upload time. Uh, midnight UTC on June 5th, 2013. Uh, 96A out in the um, uh, Sea of Arabia, Arabian Sea. Uh, very near the Oman coast as well. Um, and invest 97 W, which is uh, centered just to the southeast of the Philippines, the southern island of uh, Mindanao in the Philippines. Uh, the current invest currently is uh, located close to that with a low chance of development over the next few days at least. So that is there in the Pacific and looking at the Atlantic here, Invest 91L, which is the one that is probably going to have the most attention in this uh, bulletin, bulletin number 10. Um, and that's expected to move towards the north and then possibly the northeast into northern Florida. But that's coming up in the models a little bit later on. Um, there it is there on the Atlantic uh, satellite imagery and 96A in the Indian Ocean just at the top of the screen there, very close to the coast of Oman, um, the centre of it just offshore I believe as of um, 11 o'clock I believe it was, 11pm on June the 4th which was just an hour before this upload. Uh, here's the sea surface temperatures worldwide you can see warm water still persisting in the eastern Pacific area, uh, 28 degrees or above. In the Atlantic it's a little bit of a uh, mishmash there, 27 degrees generally though um, and above in the Caribbean and in the Gulf of Mexico. Now uh, you can see in the Indian Ocean things staying warm especially towards the north. Uh, central parts cooling off just a little bit um, and around the South China Sea and the Philippines the water staying very warm as well, 30 degrees quite common here. Invest 91 at the moment with winds of 30 miles per hour and an air pressure of 1009 millibars with a 40% chance of formation, that is, it's been that case for a little while now, a medium chance um, designated by the NHC and um, judging by the models uh, this is probably the best uh, we can uh, come up with for the next two days at least in terms of its track. Um, not really a word in its intensity yet before it um, intensifies and then we'll get a better idea, idea of that uh, when it occurs, when it becomes a depression or storm or what have you, if it does that of course. You can see here the latest satellite imagery of the Gulf of Mexico during the past 24 hours or so, a little bit less, um, you can see the storm. The center of the storm is currently centered over the center, central Gulf of Mexico area with all the clouds associated with the storm out off to the east of the storm, you can see that. Um, Invest 97W, you can see the floater imagery here, um, just in that little channel between the Philippines and uh, the Indonesian islands. Um, you can see not much associated with the storm at the moment, but um, perhaps it will be worth watching and it remains to be seen what will happen over the next day or two with that one. Uh, the CMC here, the model run, uh, you can see there at the very start the um, Invest 91 moving into the Florida coast and then uh, taking right up the northeast and then out off to the Atlantic as an extra tropical storm. And at the very end there you saw a little uh, another storm forming in the eastern Pacific. Uh, you see the ECMWF model here showing something rather similar. Uh, I'm not too sure about the intensity there. Perhaps as a tropical storm into Florida according to the ECMWF there. Uh, looking at the GFS model 1 you can see again something fairly similar, a little bit less clear as to uh, how quickly it occurs but it seems to be a fairly quick process of the low pressure centre moving over the Florida coastline and then off to the northeast um, at that moment there. Uh, the nav gem uh, of course is not quite as clear but you can still see a low pressure system moving into the Florida coast, perhaps a little bit to the east uh, or as the other models are saying um, towards the very eastern part of Florida, the very western part of Florida, to the west rather not to the east um, as it made landfall there. You can see the predicted season scores here as of June the 5th, no change of course because there are no new storms. So it remains Ken in first place with 111, Typhoon Bob with 104 and Theo with 103, the top three there. Um, and of course there are now over 100 predictions for the predictor storm this year and there's still plenty of time to submit yours if you haven't already by going on the Force 13 website. Uh, interactive section, predictor season 2013, you should find it easily enough and then you submit your totals and it will go through and then it will be added to the uh, the uh, scores in due course. So what happened on this day on June the 5th? Quite a few things. Agatha dissipated in the Eastern Pacific in 1975, that same day. Tropical Depression 1 formed near the Bahamas in the Atlantic. In 1981, Tropical Depression 2 made landfall in Texas, causing three fatalities and $4 million in damages. Um, a few other things, Tropical Storm Andres forming near Mexico in 1985. Subtropical Storm Andrew forming in 1986 in the Atlantic. 
1989, Adolf dissipated in the Eastern Pacific. 1990, Boris peaked as a cancer with one storm. Agatha dissipated in the Eastern Pacific in 1992. In 1995, Allison made landfall near Carabell, Florida with sustained winds of 70 miles per hour. In 2001, of course, the other Allison formed and made landfall in Texas. Of course, that was a very um, damaging storm. Uh, probably the most destructive tropical storm in the Atlantic. And Typhoon Maggie Peters was with three storm in 1999. And Gonu made landfall in Oman, causing 23 fatalities and over $2 million of damages in 2007. Don't forget you can track any storm that forms on the Force 13 website. Just go to the storm tracking page and you should quite easily find um, basin by basin. You can see any storm that forms, its forecast track, any warnings in effect and a little bit of text information at the bottom as well. And you can, of course, find us on the social pages, YouTube, Facebook and Twitter. We do all of those um, by those links there. Force 13, just search them and you should find them fairly easily. And don't forget to show your support by subscribing, by liking and by following Force 13. Thank you for watching and the next bulletin is tomorrow.